and Gary here and welcome to a brand new deck tech video. Today GVG finally was released and I'm pretty excited to build new decks. And this is the actually yeah, this is the first deck that I made and it is my new hunter deck, obviously. It's like my favorite class. And yeah, it's a pretty fun deck. I yeah, some, some cards can be changed here and there and I will go over the deck list in a bit. Um, it's like a mid rangey hunter deck and I really enjoy playing hunter and I really like to climb the pounds and I will play hunter a lot on later. So this is like the first version and I played a couple games and <laughs> I won all of them. It's like I'm not very high rated. Uh, GVG is not out on EU yet so I can't play on my main account so I, I'm, I haven't logged in on NA so I started from zero basically. So. I'm very low rated but it's going very well and I tested it and I think it's a pretty legit deck. It has the Hunter Smart as a hard removal still, it's like 0 mana, it's like one of the best removal cards in the game still. Even better now since so many very strong minions are uh, are released at GVG and many people will try to play more legendaries um, that can be removed with this card. It's very nice. Um, I like Clockwork Gnome instead of Leper Gnome because the spare parts are usually very strong. Like if you get the freeze effect, it really synergizes very well with Hunter. Um, like let's say you play against a Handlock and you can freeze a giant and they play like a big minion in one turn and just freeze it and you have the board control. You can just attack with all your minions one more time. It's it's really strong. Like more of a, more most most of the spare parts are like very very strong uh, another thing to point out it is it is a mech so it has the synergy with the metal tooth uh, leaper and this card is really strong like because how does golem i would play like i play i don't play animal companions anymore i really hated the card but there was like no good replacement and how does golem is a mech and um tinker is a mech spider tank is a mech clockwork gnome is a mech and they're really strong synergy with this uh, with the metal tooth leaper and it's like free free for free so it's a pretty decent card and if you coin out one of the mags and you get like a tinker in turn three which is a four four and you get like another spare part it's really crazy we will see in the in the games another thing about the clockwork gnome is that it is a death threat dominion which will buff the undertaker and you want to have like um, yeah, w um, one mana death rattles for the Undertaker. So I still play Undertaker so I, because I think you really need like the crazy early game as Hunter still because you don't have the card draw mechanic. And yeah, I play two traps. I play the new weapon I, and the battle cry is really strong. Like it's very underestimated, especially when you have like a web, web spinner. It doesn't usually kill something except one of uh, Clockwork Gnomes or cards like that or Leper Gnomes. But if someone has like an Undertaker, uh, or something, um, some some to uh, or like some knife juggler or pyromancers, you know all those two drops. You can just kill it with uh, with web spinner or like with the weapon. Like you can buff whatever. It's like if you get the harvest golem with three free stars, it's really strong. Like whatever you buff with this card, it's it's it will trade. It's 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 a very strong weapon in my opinion, and I play two of them. And yeah, I will test it like how good this card actually is if you need it because you have like play minions on curve like if you really need this card right now i play one ego humbo and yeah this weapon because it, it buffs a minion i really like that deck because it's like um forever it's like a, the old dark iron dwarf which they, they buff a minion like forever it's it's very strong deck in my opinion um what i play only two traps for now i i don't like to have too many traps because you lose the game so you draw the traps and i think two traps are fine uh, you have so many strong minions now and even if you just if you have like a mad scientist at some point when you drew the trap and you drew draw the second mad scientist and then he, he's like he has no death threat to me it's still a two two for two and it will still buff the undertaker and uh, i really like the match ball type play one for now because i play the weapons i don't want to have too many two drops because i still play the hunter creepers um it makes you uh, your max cost one mana less it's a it's a two three for two which is solid for a two drop it is also a mech which can be buffed by the metal tooth leaper uh, in the following turn but it makes the clockwork gnome cost zero mana it makes so many like it makes the harvest column cost two mana and it makes uh 
makes you play the pilot the shredder in turn three as a follow up. So I play one for now. I might change it. Uh, I really like the card, uh, but this is like how the deck is right now. And I played a couple games and I really liked it so far. Um, one eagle home ball because I have so many three drops. I don't want to have too many uh, cards in turn three. I play only two traps. So I play only one ball. I have the the smaller weapon, so I don't want to have too many weapons. Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Harvest Golem, it's a mech, it's one of the best mechs, it's, it's a definite dominion that buffs the Undertaker. Um, Metal Tooth Leaper, as I mentioned, it's very strong to buff all your mechs, you get like a really crazy aggression with it, once you have the tempo. The Spider Fangs, it's a 3-4 mech for free, uh, it's a the best free drop, it's a mech as well, can be buffed, it has the synergy with the Tinker, that's also why I play the Tinker. It has the synergy with all the mechs, it's a very strong card, it gives you spare parts, as I mentioned, all spare parts are good cards, except the taunt sometimes is kind of bad. Uh, Pirate Shredder, it's like a Harvest Golem, it's a, in my opinion one of the strongest cards in GVG, if not the strongest. But that's just my opinion, because uh, if you go over the all, over all the 2 drops, almost every 2 drop is good, and if you get a really strong 2 drop out of it, uh, it can actually auto win you the game. So Lord Tap, my opinion, is absolute core. Once you have board control, you get like an additional um, hit in. Uh, it's a board control deck, and yeah, it's one Savannah Highman. Uh, you, I just prefer like having like the really strong turn two, turn three, turn one plays. Uh, so one Highman, if you get the Highman with board control, you win anyways. I don't want to have two. I want to have. I want to have a faster curve. So, but one Highman is fi fine. Still a very strong card. Still definitely with bees. Um, yeah, I don't play kill commands, I, d I don't play too many beasts, like, I might change up this deck, but it's it's working for me so far, and I'm gonna show you off to some games.